Come on, 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 come on. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. Woo! It's a blessing, it's a blessing, it's a blessing. Every time you see it, every time you see it, this is what I do when the, well, it's always like that, but whenever you get the opportunity to see how beautiful that sunrise actually is, you do not take it for granted. Point it out quite frequently on this show, especially on mornings like this when I'm, I'm catching my run schedule just happens to match up right when that sunrise is coming up. I do not take that for granted. Man, oh man, how lovely that is to know, hey, got another opportunity. Got another opportunity to be great. Got another opportunity to do something significant. You got another opportunity, an opportunity that is not promised and you cannot take that for granted, all right? As far as today's move swiftly fell, let me address, let, let me address this brand new ruling that has come down with the, regards to the NCAA. I believe the official announcement is that it's a hit. Well, it's been called a historic day, seeing that the whole concept, the idea of amateurism and playing for your school and you know receiving a quality education while you're playing in college and all that. That's officially over, all right? The, this new ruling in which has allowed, it's a settlement that the NCAA has finally come to in which the schools are, the, they're part of the shared revenue and schools are allowed to actually pay their athletes. Again, I'm, I'm gonna address this, but when I say schools, I mean specifically schools in the Power Five conferences, which is, a, which is, which is the issue with the ruling, but I'll get into that in a second, all right? Let me just get through what actually got reported. So in the Power Five conferences, they are allowed to pay their players directly or pay their athletes directly from the school. And it has, you know, it's been a long time coming and there's many aspects of this in which I'm happy about. And to be honest with you, I am happy that again, schools are getting on board because, you know, look, the, the athletes deserve to be compensated for their work. I don't necessarily believe that it's fair for them to be doing the putting in the hours that they put in generating the revenue that they generate for the university and not be able to go out and compensate themselves whether it be through paid internships whether it be through getting a job every other student on campus is allowed to get jobs you know every other scholarship student is allowed to get work study programs all that kind of stuff so something like that i'm very in, much in favor of here was the issue it's just um a, the issue with the ruling and the problem with the ruling is it's just a matter of the rich getting richer and the poor the getting poor like the schools i played for the vision two program and the fcs program that i played for the girl sports that uh, olympic sports the the sports that don't get hundreds and thousands of people showing up at a game that doesn't that's not on tv or anything like that though there's only a matter of time before those sports and those programs <coughs> are going to cease and desist, all right? And that's just the reality of the situation. And that is that that brings me to a bigger lesson in life, a bigger understanding in life, whether, it, whether we're talking college sports, whether we're talking business, whether we're talking just uh, family and relational and you know being happy or whatever it is you're gonna be deciding to do in life, understand that there never, ever, 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 ever can you ever expect there to be a perfect situation. It's never gonna happen and nothing you do. The only thing you can expect is trade-offs, all right? So as happy and as excited and as, you know, again, quote unquote historic as this day has been or this weekend has been this announcement when it comes to the NCAA has been understand the trade-off is now look now the power five schools are going to get more power than they already had because they're part of the TV revenue they have TV contracts they have networks in which you know blast their stuff they have partnerships with ESPN they have all of these revenue generating strategies and the school the school is going to be able to pay players directly plus what the players can go out and get in regards to nil and all that stuff the only thing that has actually happened to be honest with you in my opinion is that this ruling has done something to control the the mess that the transfer portal has created right because the real issue 
wasn't necessarily NIL per se, you know, it was a problem, but the issue was the transfer portal. The issue was these guys jumping in and out of the transfer portal because somebody who wasn't a part of the university wasn't necessarily working for the, the, the money that they were being offered wasn't coming from the university. Now that the money is being offered is coming from the university, they can control who stays, they can create contracts, they can create situations in which it's gonna require athletes to stay for a specific amount of time. There's incentives that the school can create as opposed to the businesses that they do deals with there. They have their agenda when they do a, a, an NIL deal like myself. I have my own agenda when I do NIL deals with athletes the same way another business will have their own agenda when they try to work with athletes. The school, however, now can control this and they can control, they can somewhat control or begin to get some control over the transfer portal when it comes to how the NCAA now rules it. But again, it goes back to the same thing I just told you about. It's a trade-off because the rich are gonna get richer. The schools that have the resources and have the TV money and are in the big time conferences and things like that, they're obviously going to be able to be a whole lot more flexible with how they structure their deals as opposed to a school like I played for, whether it's Stony Brook University or Carson Newman College, D2 programs, D2 FCS programs, and or programs that don't make it on TV or the, the female sports programs and things like that, they're not going to have that flexibility and they're going to have to get really creative or, or they, they're just they're, they're going to have to cut their non-revenue generating sports and turn it into club or something like that. The, the bottom line to this whole situation is it leaves not only myself, but it leaves everyone with more questions than answers. And whenever you're coming up with a ruling, whenever there's a lawsuit, whenever there's a situation where a decision got to be made, you should be always working towards leaving people with more answers than questions. But this ruling is more so creating more question than it is a questions than it is answers. So understand it again. I, I, talk, I told you yesterday, paying attention to sports gives you a clear indicator on how you should be able to run your business. Some of the do's and do not some of the things that you should be doing and some of the things that you should not be doing. All of that stuff happens when you really pay attention to what's going on in the sports world because it represents so much of it represents so much of what our society values in regards to teamwork in regards to working together in regards to people just coming together for a common goal and again it's it's a great it's an activity that builds confidence and creates opportunities for young people to to develop and see what their work ethic is all about all right so that's really much my thoughts on it and I'll have have a whole lot more as rulings come out as things start to come out and as we get we getting closer days we're getting closer baby we're getting closer to our college football season college football felt football all that stuff is coming back you know I just I just hope what I hope again what I hope is that it doesn't turn it doesn't turn college football Saturdays into Sundays that's what I'm praying doesn't happen however it does feel like it's going in that direction but we'll see how things go all right <clears throat> main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work makeyamove.com that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e.com one-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs as one crookshank your one and only move swiftly speaker checking out you guys continue to move swiftly we will talk more soon